As a first step of this tutorial, I'll create two projects. The first one I will call development and the second one quality engineering. I will assign Gloria, who is the developer, to the development project. I will switch to the development project now and I will add a Docker host. Let's call it development Docker cluster. I'll change the type to Docker. I'll add the API endpoint and credentials which I have pre-created. I'll make sure that the certificate is valid and I'm adding now the host. I'll actually create the cluster by adding a second host. Again, I provide the API endpoint and the credentials. And there we go. Now we have a cluster of two Docker hosts. And I'll actually repeat exactly the same steps for the quality engineering project, adding another cluster different from the first one, which I added in development. Now, I will continue by creating a template, actually importing a Docker Compose template from a file. This is a WordPress template with three containers, two WordPress containers and one MySQL container talking to each other through a network. This is how the template looks like. I can edit some properties. For example, the ports exposed, volumes, policy, and I'll make sure that the containers are spread within the hosts of the clusters in development. So I create an anti-affinity rule uh, at, with a soft constraint. I will update the name of my template, calling it my WordPress application. And I will provision it. We can already see the progress bar, the provisioning process it started. And actually it's done. If I click on the link in my request, I'll be automatically sent to my newly deployed and running application. I can review it, see the containers. These are the WordPress containers, which are scaled out. So two containers, I can open one of them and examine the stats and actually the port of the WordPress application that has been exposed. I can click on it and there you go. This is the install wizard of my WordPress application. We'll do the same now through API. So I have a split screen to the right. I have my Admiral instance, the UI of Admiral to the left. I have Postman where I will send a few requests to Admiral. Now I'm working within the development project. So the first step is to acquire a Xenon login token by providing my credentials. This is the body of the request. And within 
postman, I will get the token and store it in a variable, which I'm gonna reuse within the next few requests. There you go, I have the token already. Next, I'm gonna get my project. So I send the requests to the projects path. It's a get request, I provide the Xenon token, and I'll actually store uh, the ID of my development project as a variable in Postman, which again, I'll reuse for the next request. The next request is importing a template. This is the path. I need to provide a few headers, X project, which is my project ID. Also the token. The content type is application YAML. And this is the body of my request, which is the actual Docker Compose template. Pretty much the same one as I used for quality engineering. I'm gonna send the request now. And actually the template that I'm creating with this request, again, I will store in a Postman variable, which I'm going to reuse in the next request. There we go. I got 200, it's successful. And this is the ID of my new template. If I go to templates, there you go. It's here, already created. All right. Next, I'll actually start the provisioning of my application. I'm sending a request to the request broker, which listens on the requests path. I provide, again, the token, the project within which I want to provision my application, some details within the body. And as you can see, I'm providing the ID of my template and the project ID within which I want to provision my application. I have to be member of this project, of course. And as a result, I'm going to get the request tracker ID, which then I'm gonna to use to poll and make sure that the application is provisioned successfully. So this is a, an asynchronous operation. There we go, it's already triggered. And now I'm gonna check the status of provisioning. As you can see, it's currently started and the substage is provisioning, which is also reflected in the UI. I'm gonna send the request again. And now it's finished. And if I go to applications, yep, my application is already provisioning and running and the request in the UI is also finished. Next, I will retrieve the details of my application. I have already the application ID from the previous request stored within Postman as a variable. There you go. And I can see the containers of my applications, of my application and also the network as well this, that was created as part of the application. And I can actually get the exposed port of my application. There you go. This is the port. If I open um, this endpoint with this port in the browser, I should see again the installation wizard of WordPress. There we go. That was the tutorial.